What is going on guys? Today we are going to be finishing the reassembly of my rebuilt RB20 for my R32. We have just about everything that we need for it now. Right here we've got valve cover gasket, timing belt, intake and exhaust manifold gaskets. So that should get us pretty far. And we also have all of the silicone hoses. First things first, we need to swap the cams because if you don't know, these are RB26 cams, which have a millimeter more of lift, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's gonna throw off the stock ECU. The car's not gonna run right. It would need a tune. Don't wanna be dealing with that. So I'm gonna save these cams because I think eventually I'll use them because I got them for free. But we need to take these cams and we're just gonna throw them in this head and we're gonna swap these cams over to this head. So took the cam gears off, took the little back plate off. So now to take the cams out, all these caps gotta come off. And thankfully they're labeled E1, E2, E3 all the way back. E stands for exhaust. These other ones are labeled I1, I2, I3, and so on. That's for intake. So let's forge ahead and take these cams out. So I don't know if the stock cam gears are side specific. So I labeled them because I just don't know. But let me know in the comments if you guys know, but I have no idea. I know that the aftermarket adjustable ones are sometimes labeled intake and exhaust. So let me know below if you guys know the answer. So we took the cam out. It's right in here. You can tell it's all oily. We put all the caps on, but they're just like a couple threads in just so the cam just sits in there, doesn't fall. And we had to throw on this cover and this cam gear just loosely so we can line up our timing marks again. I lined up the cam with the top dead center mark. However, the cam is lifted because it's not all the way torqued down. So this cover is tilted a little bit. So it'll be close, but not exact. So once we get it, all the caps tightened, we're gonna have to tweak it just a bit. So what we have to do is we have to start from the middle and work our way out. But what we're gonna do is tighten it a little bit, move to the next one, tighten a little bit, move to the next one. Keep doing that so it clamps it down evenly. These spin very fast and we wanna make sure that it's perfectly straight. So here we go. And just like that, we are done with the exhaust cam. If you don't know which cam is which, if you took both off and you forgot, you didn't mark them or whatever, the exhaust cam has this little half moon in it. And you wanna make sure that's there because if that's not there and it broke off, you need a new cam, which is kind of a downside to RBs. I'm gonna get the other one done and then we'll be good to go. These have to be torqued to 1.4 to 1.9 kilograms per meter, kg-m. Unfamiliar with that metric, but I converted it to inch pounds and it was 147 for 1.7. I just figured pick somewhere in the middle of that range. So they are all torqued to 147 inch pounds for each one and you just go in a star pattern like a tire. But now that those are on, we can throw our new gritty timing belt on. Also made sure to line up each of the cam gears. So top dead center for both and top dead center on the bottom. So we've got the timing belts on. You wanna line up the dotted one with this cam and make sure that the logo is that way. You line up this line, that cam. Down at the bottom, there's the last one and you line that line up with that gear. So now all we have to do is loosen this tensioner. It will swing in and put tension on the belt and we want it to where it, we can only turn it about a quarter turn and then we tighten it up. Once 
once you got that where you want it torque this nut to 36 foot pounds and now timing is good so what we're gonna do is we're going to rotate the motor make sure that everything is good and it's not hitting we should be good because we got it top dead center and everything's lined up so but it's always a good idea to test before you do all the effort and throw it in the car and then your valves and pistons kiss and then you have a bad day Because there's no oil in the motor, I only did one full rotation, but we're back at top dead center for cylinder one. Everything felt good. There wasn't any binding, so we're good on timing. turbo is ready to come off we got the four bolts of the manifold off to get to this bottom one i had to take off the oil feed and this bolt for the turbine housing but now we should be able to just pop it off we got the lines disconnected we'll have to pull it off of here because it's kind of stuck on it but but let's pull it off So we got the turbo manifold off and unfortunately we had one casualty this first stud it broke off inside that's not good it broke immediately almost like the impact didn't do anything like it just kind of twisted off so i'm wondering if that broke and there was a leak there because as you see just a bunch of oil over here whereas it's pretty much clean the rest of the way through up here is from the valve cover gasket you can tell with by that hard to say but this head is going to get resurfaced and gone through and all that fun stuff so not the end of the world four actually came out they just uh completely came out so that's that's not a big deal i have a bunch of new exhaust studs i can just pop in So I think I'm going to call it a night. We got very far through little things on like the cast bracket. We got the timing belt on, put the thermostat on, swapped over the oil drain. The old motor is essentially torn down. We're still gonna take the roommate seal, but we can't even get to that until we get this thing off the stand. I threw the 26 cams in here and I left them all loose because this is gonna have to go to a machine shop anyways. I still got to throw on the water lines. I still have to do the oil pan, which we need to get that motor on the stand in order to take that oil pan off. I was hoping to get a little bit further, but I mean, we did get pretty far today. That's pretty good we swapped the cams and torqued them that's huge the whole motor head and block is done basically i put the little half moon seals in with just a little bit of silicone yeah boys we are pretty far along with this it's looking good it's tuesday right now fingers crossed that by sunday this is in the car and running so that is going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more rb content and i'll see you guys next time peace